In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Prepare ourselves, celebrate sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins. Be truly sorry for them. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy in us forgive us our sins. Bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, spectic respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what, are, what you are about to do to this man. Some time ago, Theudas appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy him. You may even find yourself fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged and ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they have been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and, their, and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord one thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be sought hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. Please all stand. <laughs> And 
does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, and that what the Lord had said to the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt, I called my son. When Herod had died, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the child's life are dead. Joseph rose, took the child and his mother, went to the land of Israel. And when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in a place of his father here, Joseph was afraid to go back there. And because he had been warned in a dream, he departed for the region of Galilee. Joseph went and dwelt in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken to the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarean. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning po sa nga lahat. Binabasa ko itong libro na paborito ni Benedict XVI. Magaling. Ang title po ay The Lord ni Romano Guardini. At isang punto ang sinabi niya, bakit tayo'y hirap na hirap makitungo sa iba? At bakit tayo'y hirap na hirap mailipat kung saan-saan? Ang analysis niya ay isang bagay. Attachment. Tayo'y nakatali. Tayo'y nakatali sa gamit, sa mga bagay-bagay, sa lugar, at ang pinakamahirap na attachment, attachment to self, sa sarili. Kaya pag tayo nag-iisip ng mga gamit, ng mga bagay, ang ating tanong kagad sa ating sarili ay, ano ang mapapala ko dito? Immediately, ang sarili, the self. Ito ang turo parati ng mga santo mga doctors of the church, 
especially my favorite, Teresa of Avila. At sabi niya, attachment, self-indulgence blocks our spirit of prayer. Hindi tayo makapagdarasal ng mabuti kasi ang ating isip ay punong-puno ng kung ano-ano ang ating kamay ay hindi bukas palad parating may kinakapitan at nasa bulsa. We have to liberate ourselves and free ourselves from material things so we can reach out to the life of the Spirit. Magsitayo po tayo for the prayers of the faithful. Let us pray to God our Father, who is merciful and generous to all who fear to offend Him and want to live in His love. Let us say, Lord, hear your people. Lord, hear your people. For the Church of Jesus Christ on earth, which is a community of weak people, that the power of God's goodness may become visible on, in our love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. For our world, with all its needs, with Mary, that Mary may watch over it and pray for it, and keep people from warring with each other, and from making one another suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. For all in, in positions of authority, that they may use their gifts and talents in the service of those entrusted to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. For people in lowly jobs, that they may learn from our humble mother that God va values all work done in lo with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. For all of us united here, that our faith in Jesus Christ may produce in us, as in Mary, fruits of genuine love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. Pagdasal po natin mga may karamdaman, mga may sakit sa katawan, at lalo na ang mga may sakit sa konsyensya. God, our Father, these were the things we ask of you today. Let Mary enrich our prayer with hers. Give us every good gift through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed dear Lord God of all creation, through goodness of this wine to offer, for the divine work of human hands shall become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you. 
to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly really right and just our duty, our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and exaltation of the saints, especially as we celebrate in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the earth's ends, you have done great things, extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praises we acclaim. Here indeed, holy, O Lord, you found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become first the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, took the chalice once more giving thanks. Gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer your Lord the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of hell as warfare to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, for the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Apostles, St. Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words the Savior taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Renewed with his heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Odacio Imperata from the Archdiocese of Linga in Nagupan. Let us turn to mayor help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Linga in Nagupan. We respond, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey to priesthood of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant for your prayers many vocations of priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of all Christians. Grant for your prayers many vocations of the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on your young, young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of, it, of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the front of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to un answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant to your prayers, may the vocations the priesthood. Mary, help of Christians, replace all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa mga nag-concelebrate, Father Stephen and Father Caloy Canto. Maraming salamat sa inyo na nagpunta dito ng simba. Sana mabasbasan ang inyong mga nahihinig eh. at sana ay matupad ang pangarap ng Panginoon sa inyong buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, we're blessing you by strength, support, and our frailty. Turn with your kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Freedom from our illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, sought in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the honor and glory of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Immaculate Mother.